Maka. Hallelujah. Hey, Peter Maritzburg. How is Peter Maritzburg doing this morning? Morning, Potchefstroom, Cape Town. Free State, Sasselberg is represented this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Zimbabwe is represented. East London, Free State. Oh my God, I'm getting excited. Hallelujah. Tembisa. Welcome. Lady Brand. Awesome. All of us are represented this morning. I'm sure there's more that will come in just now. Let's uh, type in the comment section, secrets to supernatural speed. Or if that is too long for you, you can type supernatural speed. Welcome Facebook. Welcome YouTube. Facebook, announce yourselves. Let me see your comments coming through as well. Let me see you on YouTube as well. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed is what we are asking for this morning. Supernatural speed. Trinidad, welcome. Kenya, Zambia, I see you. Supernatural speed. Thank you to everybody who is sharing. Thank you to everybody who's tapping on those likes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's do this for Jesus. Come on, somebody. Supernatural speed. Hallelujah. We are ready, we are willing, we are able. Facebook, are we good? Moderators, are we good? Everybody is ready. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome awesomeness supernatural speed let us just pray and open our awesome meeting this morning if it is their first time joining us on this broadcast this is the protocol breaking prayer altar hallelujah where we issue out protocol breaking prayers we fellowship in the word of god and we also fellowship in prayer and we issue decrees and declarations we recreate our world we come to the fullness of everything that God has proposed for us to be. Hallelujah. And this morning we are charging forward. We are unlocking supernatural speed. Is everybody ready? Um, everywhere from every direction, every platform, I'm ready for you. If you are ready, say I'm ready. Hallelujah. The secret to supernatural speed. Secrets to supernatural speed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. This morning, we ask you to have your way in our lives. We say, have your way. This is your broad broadcast, Holy Spirit. Your purpose in our lives this morning is going to take its rightful place. Father, we invite you to take your rightful place in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Do I have believers who are saying they are open-minded and their spirit is open to let God take his place in our lives? Lord, take your rightful place place in our lives this morning. Father, we ask that everything that we need to know, everything that we need to do to speed up this season, to speed up that which is in expectation in our hearts, Lord, reveal that thing to us. Amen, somebody. Welcome, Collins. Welcome, Facebook. Facebook, talk to me. Tell me supernatural speed in those comments. Let me hear you saying supernatural speed in the comment section right now, and then I'm good to go. Everybody who Who's joining in supernatural speed supernatural speed the lord is ready to issue out that supernatural speed that is going to propel us to move forward amen somebody god show us exactly what we need to do to expedite the things that we are expecting uh, from you this morning good morning good morning everywhere every country that is represented every satellite that is represented this morning we are unlocking the secrets to supernatural speed Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a realm that we need to be found, and that is the realm of supernatural speed. It is the realm of a divine speed. And this morning, I have no doubt that through our fellowship with the Word of God, we are going to be unlocked into that dimension and that realm of supernatural speed. We are going to find out what the prophetic word says to us this morning. I have no doubt that that one word you came expecting this morning, that one word you need is going to be unlocked 
vlogged this morning. Amen. So make sure you are participating actively in the comment section. You are declaring with me. You are praying along with me. You are preaching along with me. You are teaching along with me. Hallelujah. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. Somebody declare already with me and say, God, let me be found in the realm of supernatural speed. Let me be found right there this morning. I will be found in the dimension of supernatural speed. This morning, I'm going to be found in the realm of supernatural speed. If it is a nighttime in your country, you say tonight, I will be found in the dimension of supernatural speed. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. We will be found in the dimension of supernatural speed. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 to 3, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets, that they that read it may run. Hallelujah. That person who is reading that comment you just made, that supernatural speed, understands that this morning you are unlocking a speed of supernatural dimensions. That person who just read your comment has read your declaration that you have unleashed and unlocked the divine speed dimension. Hallelujah. The vision is plain. The writing is on the wall. It is undisputable that this morning the Lord has unlocked the vision of a supernatural speed. Hallelujah. The vision is read out. The vision is, 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 is unlocked and therefore we are running with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to understand, child of God, that vision is that thing that is behind the making of a runner. So if you are going to run, you're going to have to understand the vision. The vision has to be made plain to you. It is only the one that runs that wins the race. It is not the one that is cushioned behind the blankets this morning. It's not the one who is just sitting on their laurels. It's not the couch potato that gets to run. Runners are in the field right now. Runners are at the altar right now. They are ready to take their, their instructions. They are ready to receive their commands. They are ready to execute. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm a runner. I'm a runner and I'm ready. I'm, ru I'm running. I'm going to run this race. And I'm going to make sure I win this race. Hallelujah. We are moving with the, uh, the Apostle Paul dimension of running this morning. We say, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, whenever we will be raptured, we will get to that point where we are saying, I have run this race. I have finished the course and thou therefore there is laid up for me a crown of glory hallelujah there is a crown that is waiting for you hallelujah I am going to run this race I'm going to make sure my family runs this race I'm going to make sure that I win the crown I'm going to make sure that I go into the dimension of victors I'm going to make sure that I triumph in all angles I'm going to make sure that I get that trophy oh Jesus I feel the Holy Ghost already here Somebody needs to understand that everything moves at the pace of vision. When you have the vision, then you can run. Without the vision being understood, then you cannot run. Without the vision, people are confused. Without the vision, people are stagnant. Without the vision, they don't have the knowledge and the equipment that they need to run. Talk to me, somebody. So what is vision, Pastor Fortune? Vision is a clear picture of a destination that you are going to. Vision is the clear destination of a picture where you are going to. The lack of vision leads to stagnation in life. If you don't have vision, it leads to frustration in life. That is to say, if you don't have vision, you do not have the acceleration that you need. If you don't have vision, you don't have the petrol that you need. You don't have the gas that will propel you to where you need to go. Talk to me, somebody. So this morning, Father, we decree and we declare that we have the vision and we are having the enhancement that we need to accelerate things that are needed to, to accelerate in our lives. When you have vision, your enhancement of acceleration is there. Hallelujah. It is vision that will determine, hallelujah, what direction your life is heading. So if you are in that crowd and you're saying, Pastor, I don't know where my life is going. It feels like I'm spiraling. It feels like I'm going around the same mountain. You say it this morning, you lift up your hand and say, God, make the vision clear. Make the vision plain. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mom Sophie. Hallelujah. The journey is easy. The destination is in view because now we are receiving direction. Now the vision is made clear. Now the vision is written down. Everybody who follows suit knows exactly what they are following. Hallelujah.
So vision is that secret of that speed in life that you are looking for. Things have not been moving at the pace that you are expecting. You need to unlock vision. Talk to me. Somebody type vision. My vision is clear this morning. My vision is becoming clear this morning. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Vision is firstly that thing, that sight that you need to receive. Receive sight this morning. That sight that will enhance movement. When your sight is there, when your vision is clear, then movement is enhanced. Then I'm moving. Hallelujah. Tag your neighbor and tell them I'm moving. It's time to move. It's time to move. Hallelujah. A clear sight is a prerequisite for speedy movement. That is why those who see clearer, they run faster. If you think about a runner who's in a marathon and there's fog everywhere, even a person who is driving a vehicle, when there's fog, you slow down. The rules of the road says slow down, switch on your lights because it's not clear. Your, your life has been foggy. You are asking yourself the questions, do I get out? Do I come in? Do I, do I stay? You are foggy. Everything is foggy. You need vision. You need clarity of vision. Hallelujah. And once you receive the clarity of vision, you are able to move faster. You are able to run faster. Hallelujah. For instance, if you are, acqui if you are acquire acquiring a driver's license, there is a level of vision they, 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 they test you in. They want to make sure that they don't give you a driver's license if you cannot operate on the road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your vision or your eyesight is impaired in any way, that thing can prevent you from obtaining your driver's license. If your vision is impaired in any way, you cannot be a pilot on a flight. Hallelujah. Therefore, you need your life to be clearer. You need your life to be faster. That means your clearer vision needs to be effective. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. If you look at people who are driving on the highway, hallelujah, but there's a fog, hallelujah, and your lights are not working, that thing will slow you down, hallelujah. And somebody with a clearer light, where your, 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 the lights of your car are very clear, then suddenly comes around and overtakes you and you realize that that car that has just overtook me now, their lights are even much clearer. Therefore, I need to follow that car. I need to be staying close on that car. And that is the call I'm hearing from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, I am the light of the world. I'm the one that you've been waiting for. So as soon as you spot me that I'm in your life, you make sure you pursue me. You make sure that you are staying on my, uh, on my tail like that. This one, it does not need three, a, a, a clear, uh, a, a, what do you call it? Three cars following distance. It does not need a safety distance. I'm following the light, the light at the speed of light. I'm following Christ at the speed of light. I'm pursuing what God says I must pursue at the speed of the light. No enemy can catch me because I'm, I'm right on the trail of Jesus. I'm right at the speed of light. I'm right at the speed of light. I'm following the waves and the currency of light. I'm right at the high voltage of light. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody needs to unlock the high voltage power. Oh, Jesus, take us through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the night seasons, when it's dark, oh, God, I need the light. Hallelujah. I need progress in my life. I need speed. I need to make sure that my speed is not arrested. I need to make sure that my car is not moving slow. I need speed. I need lights. I cannot afford to be slowed down anymore. The years are fast spent. I need to move. Hallelujah. I need to see the road clearly. I need to avoid every hazard that is in sight. So God, make my vision clear. When my vision is clear, my discernment is even sharper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, overtake me. Let your light overtake me this morning. Let your light just go through. Let me be clinging right there. I'm right there. I'm moving at the speed of light. I'm moving at the thrust, at the speed, the engine speed. I don't know whether it's an engine speed or it's an eagle speed. Father, I see it because the light is illuminated. I can see my parcel, that food. You know, the, the Bible says, um, uh, or, or rather, when, when, when an eagle is described, that an eagle can f fly at 25,000 feet above sea level. And at 10,000 feet above sea level, an eagle is able to spot its prey. It's able to spot its food. That is how laser sharp your sight should be, where you can see exactly where you're going. And when you can see it laser sharp, you pursue it. 
without distraction because you know exactly where you're going. When the pilot is about to land on the ground, he needs to make sure that the driveway is, is exactly clear. And he wants to be sure that he can see it, that this is where I decelerate, this is where I accelerate, this is where I pull the brakes, and I know that I would have arrived. I declare and I decree that this morning you will arrive in Jesus' mighty name. Come on. <laughs> Preach together with me. You are arriving this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree that your light will be enhanced and your speed shall be enhanced. Secondly, we begin to understand that vision will enhance the quality of association because when you understand that the quality of your association, the importance thereof, you need to understand that you cannot take everybody on this flight. We cannot take unnecessary luggage on this flight. We need the vision to understand, to understand exactly who is needed, what is needed. And we take the necessary luggage, we take the necessary ladder. So this vision will attract the pool of quality associations that we need. We begin to understand that there are people we don't need, the people who will slow us down. We begin to understand that there are character traits that will slow us down and we don't need that. Hallelujah. There's a reason why there's a saying that they say birds of the same feather flock together. So if you've got associations that are going nowhere slowly or going nowhere fast, that's exactly what you're going to produce. If you are hanging around with people who are not producing anything, that is exactly what you're not going to produce. You will also equally not produce anything. So God, I pray for everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now. Everybody who's at the influence of my voice right now. I uproot you from any association that is not taking you anywhere. I uproot you. Let those relationships break. Let them even stop calling you. Let them blue tick you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are going. So when vision begins to enhance quality association, it means that your vision, the right vision, will attract the right people in your life. So Father, we pray this morning, attract the right people in our life so that we gain divine speed, so that we gain the supernatural speed that we need. Attract the right people who will unlock the destinies and the promotions that we need. The right, uh, the, the right association will equal the right acceleration. Hallelujah. The right visions and the right associations will give us the right acceleration because the right people will facilitate your speed and progress in your life. Now you begin to understand that you, 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 are, you are in a dimension and in a room where people who are divine helpers have unlocked the destinies that you have been waiting for. They have now connected you to the kings that you needed to meet. They have connected you to the decision makers. Father, bring me the right associations which will bring me to, to the right people, to the right decision making tables. Hallelujah. I see you. You are coming into the room of kings. I see you. You are dining with kings. You are dining with presidents. You are dining with decision makers. You are dining with CEOs, relevant people. You are dining with the right manager. Hallelujah. The Lord is causing that favor to enhance your acceleration. Talk to me, somebody. I see you moving faster in the journey of life. Beginning from today, from right now, this moment, on this prayer altar. Hallelujah. You are moving. Hallelujah. What will you need? You need to be committed. You need to be committed to what? You need to be committed to deal with every anti-spirit card, speed character in your life. Make sure that you are dealing with everything in your life that might slow you down. You need to discover the right associations that will increase your speed in life. Hallelujah. What is this speed that you're talking about, Pastor Fortune, this morning? I'm talking about the speed that is the rate at which someone or something will need to move or travel. What is that thing that needs speed in your life? Who is that person that you need to move faster in your life? May God find them and locate them for you and put the right thrust in their engine so that they move faster in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, those who are giving. Hallelujah. Speed is the swiftness of the action that you require. Speed in the journey of life. That is the divine speed that will defy every existence of every friction. It will suspend every force of delay. Do you understand that every protocol will be broken so that even delay was supposed to have a certain particular consequence? But today, this morning, I declare that it is suspended in the name of Jesus Christ. Every force of delay in your life is suspended in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, tap, 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 tap that screen. Hallelujah. Let me know you're there. Thank you, Jesus. Behind every exploit in life, there is a power that needs to be unlocked and that is the power of supernatural speed 
Behind every exploit in life that you are going to embark in, there is a high voltage of electricity that needs to be unleashed. And that high voltage will unleash a high voltage light. Hallelujah. You need to unlock those secrets, those power generating secrets. And this morning, that power generating secret is the speed of light, the supernatural speed that you require. Hallelujah. You need to unlock the unusual speed. Talk to me. So this morning, as I go on with you and we explore through the scriptures, what is that unusual speed that we need? What is that unusual speed that I, I need? What is that vision of life that I need? Hallelujah. That vision is the making of runners. Joseph was a man with a vision. And because Joseph was a man with a vision, he unlocked the unusual speed. He got unusual speed to get ahead of his brethren. Hallelujah. He had a vision for his life. So if you're going to overtake those good for nothing people that are around your life, I don't know who they are. God bless them for being around your life. But if they're not adding value to your life, it is time to overtake them. Talk to me, somebody. If they don't have vision for their lives, I cannot associate with them because they cannot add value. They cannot even motivate me. They cannot inspire me. I'm going to look for people who will inspire me. I'm going to look for my mentors who are going to push me and pull me out of the pit. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. I need vision in my life. Come on, talk to me. People who have vision are not walkers. They are runners. They are not crawling. They are, they are running. This is not a walking contest. This is a running contest. Hallelujah. I may crawl when I start. I may walk when I get to the next dimension, but I need to be running because very soon I'm, I'm mounting up my, my, my eagle's wings and I'll be flying. I need to run this thing. Tell your neighbor, run, 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 run. Hallelujah. There are those who run and yet there are those who fly. Isaiah 40 says that when you're from running, you need to get to flying. Do you understand that when an, a plane is about to take off from the runway, it does not take off walking. It does not take off crawling. It does not take off running, but it needs to get, it starts already at the point of running. You hit the ground running. That is why when you get to an interview, when you are being interviewed for a job of leadership, they want to know, can you hit the ground running? When you interview for an executive position, they ask, ask you, what are you going to do in your first hundred days? They want to understand, are you the kind of person that can hit the ground running? We don't want a person who's still going to be learning the ropes here. We want somebody who understands what a company is run like. We want somebody who, not somebody who is studying a master's degree. We don't want somebody who is, we want somebody who understands the dimensions and the dynamics of an entrepreneurship. We want somebody who understands what a business is all about. We want and somebody who already understands what is the bottom line and what is the top bottom line. Hallelujah. What is, what is needed to unlock the finances of this company to the next dimension? We want somebody who understands how to market us, how to position us. I'm already preparing some people for their interviews right now. You see, when you desire, when you envy that high position, you need to understand how, what, what is it that you need to finesse? What is it that you need to nurture? What is it that you need to shape up so that when you get into that room, you've got the right language to speak in that room. You show them. Hallelujah. Mm. I need somebody in the room who already knows that they, they, they've worked on their finances, that they understand their finances. Why do you think they do credit vetting before they appoint you when they want to do credit vetting and they ask you a, 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 a consent to say, can we look at your credit score? They want to know, can you manage the finances, your own personal finances? Because otherwise, if you cannot manage your own personal finances, how do we put you? Hallelujah. How do we put you now in a position where, uh, hallelujah, pardon me for a moment. How do we put you in a position where, you are, um, please somebody get that, that, that call for me. It's a bit disruptive. Hallelujah. How do we put you in a finance position? For example, in a department for finance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God wants you to work on yourself. God wants to, you to work on yourself first so that he can position you in the right path. Hallelujah. Karabashoto Kodiabaha. Tell your neighbor, it is my time, it is my season for supernatural speed. It is my time for supernatural speed. 
ora bashi kodi abaha la kosoto kodi abaha sakatakadia it's time for us to move speedily it is time for us to to move speedily so as i said there's people who crawl there are people who walk there are people who run but today we want to get to the flying dimension karaba shoto kodi abaha i need clarity of vision oh god hallelujah i need i need speed i need speed hallelujah live your life with a vision in sight run with your vision hallelujah refuse to be carried away by the distractions of life hallelujah make sure that you review your vision continuously am i still on the right track Hallelujah. So Father this morning I pray for every single person that is at the sound of my voice that they will receive the grace to live a life of vision. Receive the grace to live a life of vision, a life that refuses to be distracted by other people, a life that refuses to be distracted by the things of life. Yes, challenges may be there. Goraba shoto kodi amahasa taka. Distractions may want to come through, but you're not going to let those distractions come through. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so father everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now they are receiving the grace and the life of vision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ koraba shoto kodi abaha roshi koda baya hasataka thank you jesus open up your bibles to isaiah chapter 40 this is our anchor scripture this morning we still okay right for time hallelujah open up your bible to isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31 Verse 28 to 31 says, "Do you not know? Have you not heard? Koraba shoto kodi abasanda. Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not become tired. He does not grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding." This scripture alone is so powerful and should encourage you so much. He says, "Do you not know?" Have you not heard that there is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, that that guy, the same guy who created me and you. He does not become tired. He does not become weary. So when I see somebody who is saying right now in the comment section, "Father, you don't know, I'm tired. Pastor Fortune, I'm tired." I want to encourage you that there's somebody who does not get tired. There's somebody who's got your blueprint who does not get tired. He does not get weary. So any time you find yourself that you are strengthless. Ora ba shokoti ya kadia ba. That your strength is weakened. You need to rest in the comfort that there's a God that does not get tired. Hallelujah. Somebody type in that comment section again. Supernatural speed. And as I proceed, he says there is no searching of his understanding because god is all knowing all understanding all mighty he understand exactly that what position i'm in he understands that this is the time time and it's, it's my turn around time to move into speed he gives strength to the weary father i receive strength this morning come on somebody say he said i receive strength this morning ora ba shokodi abasanda and he says and he gives a uh, strength to the weary and to him who does not have might he increases power if you're feeling powerless god bless you donna if you're feeling powerless he says i'm going to increase your power even the youth the young people may grow weary and tired and the vigorous young men may stumble badly but those who wait on the lord those who wait on the lord those who are in the processing room those who are saying i will not give up those who are saying i will not give up on god those who are saying i understand that i'm being processed that i'm a diamond in the making that i'm being polished in this season i'm not going to waver i'm not going to falter i'm not going to fall apart karaba shotokoni amahasa taka i'm going to continue to serve my god I'm going to continue to serve my God. Who wait? If you're thinking about waiting in an illustration that if you go into a restaurant, what do you call the person who is serving you? The person who is serving you is called a waiter, a waitress. Hallelujah. So when God who says, "Those who wait upon the Lord, those are the people that are a candidate of being renewed in strength. Those who are the candidate who are going to get the supernatural speed." He is saying, "Wait on me." He's saying, "While you serve me, while you prove to me that you are able to wait, while you prove to me that you are 
nurturing your patience, that your gift of patience is growing even more while you show me that you are going to be in service to me, that you are interested in the kingdom expansion that I have while you continue to serve me. You are the candidate for speed this morning. He says, even young people get weary these days. I don't know where they're rushing to. Why are they weary? Imagine if you are 20 years old and you're already saying, I am tired. What are you tired about? There is a woman who is 50 years old who is saying, I am not tired. I'm not going to give up. There is a 60-year-old woman who is still believing God for the fruit of the womb, who is saying, if God did it for Sarah, he can do it for me. Even when I turn 90, I'm not giving up. So there is no young person who is permitted to give up. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody say, God, give me supernatural speed. Give me supernatural speed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Give me supernatural speed, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Holy Ghost, I hear you. He says, but those who wait upon the Lord. Do I have the, the people who are waiting on the Lord? If, if that's you, say to me in the comment section, that's me. Those who wait on the Lord. Those who are expectant. People who are waiting, they're having an expectation. Thank you. God bless you, Donna. Hallelujah. They have an expectation. They have an expectation. They have an expectation. Is there somebody who has an expectation this morning? There is those who expect, those who are looking. Do I have people who are looking? Who are looking for this Jesus? Those who are looking for this breakthrough? Those who are still looking, who are saying, I will seek I will ask and I will keep on asking. I will seek and I will keep on seeking. I need seekers. I need seekers. I need lookers. Uh, those who are hoping in him. I need people who are saying who have hope. It is this hope that will unlock the speed that I require. Oh, Jesus. He says those are those that we will gain a new strength. Father, we came looking for new strength. Those are the people who are in expectation that I'm seeing, who are writing in the comment section. Father, give them a renewed strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Jennifer. He will renew their power. He's renewing their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God. Did you know you have wings? Do you have, did you know that your wings, you begin to understand that you are moving with an eagle DNA inside of you. They will lift up their wings. They will rise up close to God. Rise up close to God. He's seated in the heavenly places at the right hand of the Father and we are seated right there with him. So you cannot operate on this dimension of ground level. Move away from ground level, baby. You are mounting up your wings. Your wings are moving, moving you closer to Jesus. You are seated right there with Jesus. You are seated right there next to God. Talk to me, somebody. They will gain new strength and they will renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising towards the sun. Do you understand that the sun will not scorch you? You are riding right there above there with the sun. The light is there. You're, there is no fog in sight. There is no fog in sight. They will run and not become weary. They won't get tired. Tell your neighbor, I will not get tired. I'm not giving up in this fight. I will not get tired. They will walk and not grow tired. So you need to understand that there are foundations that govern supernatural speed. Anytime God speaks of a thing, hallelujah, he, he is telling us about what he's about to do. So this morning as you woke up and whether you stumbled on this broadcast, it is not by mistake. It is by divine appointment so that you can know that God is about to set you up and do something. God is about to mount you up on wings of an eagle so that you fly closer to him. God is about to unlock a supernatural speed in your life. Something is about to shift in your life. I want you to tell your neighbor, something is about to shift. If your neighbor does not want to take you, take yourself and mention your name and say something is about to shift in my life. Sometimes we cannot afford to touch our neighbors because our neighbors can slow us down. I don't want to touch a lazy neighbor. I will just touch on myself and say, Fortune, it's, a, it's time for a supernatural shift. Something is about to shift, Fortune. Touch yourself. Oh, yes. As the shift is happening, I'm overcoming stagnation. Hallelujah. We are receiving commands from God. It's a supernatural speed command. Hallelujah. 
When, the, when Peter was broken out of jail, the angel came and poked him and touched him. Hallelujah. And this morning, if you say, I don't even, I don't see the neighbors around me. I'm not going to wait for the neighbor to touch me. I'm going to touch myself. I'm going to poke myself to progress. I'm going to poke myself to supernatural speed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is telling us that we are about to experience what we have not been experienced before. What you have not experienced, you are about to experience it right now. The Lord says, I know what season you have been in. I know the season that you have come from. Some of you have come from a season. Some of you have just stepped out of a season where you lost a loved one. We came from a season when the world was knocked upside down and they called it COVID. If we survived Ebola, we survived COVID. Come on, Africa. Come on, whatever continent you are in, come on. Do you not see that there's a God that's at work here? We overcome frustration. We overcame exasperation. We overcame depression and despair. They thought they were going to kill us. We, we, we said they thought Christianity was going to be shut up. Do you remember during COVID, they said lock down the churches. Yet they were gallivanting and doing everything else. We rose, we stood. And the gates of hell did not prevail against the body of Christ. And this morning I am here to announce to you that the gates of hell will not prevail against you. You will take it by force. You will take it violently. You will make sure that you thrust that engine for takeoff. Your flight is about to take off. Talk to me, somebody. Frustration will not hold you back. The gates of frustration are locked up and I, the key has been thrown away. They are behind you. Depression is behind you. The gates of despair are behind you. Exhaustion and weariness. I don't have time to be exhausted. Father, give me supernatural strength. I need a supernatural Red Bull. I need a supernatural more fire. I need a supernatural, what do you call that one that they brought just now in the country again? That one they said they were selling for 700, that one. Karabashoto kodia hasata. The, the, the sense of being deprived. They deprived us. They locked us up. They said we are going to, uh, there's no, there's food shortages and all these things. The, the devil is a liar. No child of God will lack as long as Jesus owns the whole world. He owns the cattle. He owns the fruits. He owns the vegetables, everything, every plantation, everywhere. Therefore, Father God, I speak against deprivation. Anything that the devil has tried to deprive me of, it is there, it's unlocked. You have just come out of a season of scarcity. The Lord says, I know the season you are in. I know the season you want to come out of. That is a season of scarcity. The season where you are feeling it's never more than enough. It's the season where you are feeling your salary is not enough. There is more days in the month than your salary. Your salary does not equate the days of the month. Oh, Jesus. You have come out of the season and a stagnation of vision where vision was, was, was disappearing, where you did not know. You felt like you are stagnant. You felt you are stuck. You felt like your plans are not materializing. I'm already prophesying to some of you right now. Your prayer request is being answered right now. The Holy Spirit says, I know you have felt stuck. I know you have been stagnant. But I'm saying to you, the gates of stagnancy shall not prevail. The gates of lack shall not prevail. The gates of your plan not materializing shall not prevail. I speak against retrogression in your life. I speak against retrogression. I speak against regression in your life. No longer will you take one step forward and you take one, five steps back. Some people, just when they're at, at their breakthrough moment and they get their job, suddenly somebody gets sick. The devil is a liar. Father, we bind any illnesses in our family. Suddenly, your money that you were supposed to do something for is now con be contending with an illness. The devil is a liar. We're no longer moving backwards. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are coming out of the season of confusion. You are coming out of the season of perplexity. The season of confusion. I don't know what country you're watching me from. If there's confusion in the political scenario, you are not affected. It's got nothing to do with you. You need to understand that you operate in a kingdom where there is no complexity, where the, the rules are clear. You are not of this world, children. That is what the scripture says. You are not of this world. In the kingdom that God has called us to, there is no confusion. 
There is no perplexity. That's how we make our decisions. We know that we don't want to be confused. Anytime we are confused and settled and there's no peace, we don't, we move, we keep on moving. We are getting rid of any association that makes us be feeling stagnant. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, all hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. We woke up this morning to stand in agreement and to announce to the world and to announce to the spirit world that all hope is not lost. Our God is still alive. He has not forsaken us. Talk to me, somebody. What do we need to note? Hallelujah. The God that you serve is the kind of God that can come through and come through with a drastic intervention. That is a protocol breaking God. He says, I'm a God of a drastic intervention. When I bring, he says in, in, in Psalms 126, he says, when the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like them who dreamt. It seemed so unreal. And that is going to be your testimony from today. It will be seeming so unreal because it will be like a dream. You didn't think you were going to come out. He says, we were like those who dreamed. It seemed so unreal. Then our mouth was filled with laughter. Somebody needs to laugh in that comment section. Say, ha, 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 ha. My mouth has been filled with laughter this morning. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Jesus. Then they said amongst the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore the captivity. Ha restore our captivity, oh Lord. And, and the stream beds in the south of Negev and restored by torrents of rain. So in another translation, it's basically saying, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dreamt. And they were filled with laughter because they didn't think it, it was like a joke. Do you know when, when, when you can look back and you say, I used to be trekking with my two feet. I can't even believe that I'm the first person that bought a car in my family. Talk to me, somebody. He says, I'm a God. When men are down to nothing, I'm always up to something. He says, I'm the God of total restoration. I'm a God. Not, not only do I give you supernatural speed, I am a God of super, supernatural restoration, total restoration. He says, and I will compensate you for the years that the canker worm has eaten. The creeping locust has eaten. The stripping locust has eaten. The gnawing locust has eaten. You are my great army. And I will send a great army to reinforce you. You will have plenty to eat and be satisfied. You will not have lack. Your family will not have lack in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And he says, my people shall never be put to shame. Tell yourself, I will not be put to shame. Come on, confess it with me. I will not be put to shame. Shame should not be used in the same sentence where your name is, is mentioned. Anytime you hear uh, uh, um, shame being mentioned with your children's name on it, it says, uh, please, when you are using your sentence, I don't know whether you, uh, I might be limited in the vocabulary of English or vocabulary of your knowing, but do not say shame, fortune. Shame, Amelia. Shame, Bushe. God forbid, you should be canceling it as I'm saying it. You say, no, 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 no. My name should never be used in the same context with shame. There is nothing shameful about me. Oh, Jesus, I will not be put to shame. Thank you, Jesus. They shall not be put to shame because the Lord will do wondrously in your life. Hallelujah. And you will know without any doubt that he is in the midst of your life. The same way he was in the midst of Israel. He is saying that he is in the midst of us right now this morning. Hallelujah. And there is no other God. And he says again, he reinforces that he says, my people shall not be put to shame. He's a God of complete restoration. Hallelujah. He came through for David in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8 when the David inquired, he says these people have come into my, 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 my house. They have come into my city. They have ransacked me. God, what shall I do of them? Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? Will I be able to recover all? And God confirmed. He says, the strategy is clear. The generals are clear. The forces are ready. The arms are ready. Defense mechanism. What do you call that thing? Hallelujah. The, the AK-47, whatever it is, it is ready. You ready to shoot. Go ahead, David, my son. Go ahead, the king. Go for it. Pursue, overtake, and thou shalt surely recover all. You shall surely recover all. My God. And the Bible says in that same scripture of 1 Samuel chapter 30 that they recovered all. Nothing was missing. Everything that they took, their sons and daughters, their spouse, anything that had been taken, they recovered every single thing. I want you to raise a prayer to him and say, this morning, God, let me recover everything and even more. My God. I was saying the other day when I was driving, I said, oh God, I wanted a Range Rover Vela. 
Hallelujah. And I saw another one yesterday. I just forgot what it's called. And, 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 and I said, oh, so it's no longer the vela anymore. I said, oh my God, let me lift up my expectations. Hallelujah. I say to you who's listening to the sound of my voice that the, the, the sky is not your limit in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, we serve a God of supernatural acceleration. We serve a God of supernatural accelerations. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the creator of heaven and earth. When you receive supernatural speed, child of God, supernatural speed or the acceleration that you are going to receive this morning is the type of speed or acceleration that will be happening at the frequency of heaven. It is the type of acceleration and the type of speed that is happening at the pace of God. It is not happening at the pace of the watch that you are wearing on your arm, or on your arm right now. It's at the pace of God. It is the acceleration that is extraordinary. It is superhuman. Come on, somebody. It is the type of acceleration or the type of speed that is not accounted for by human effort. That means there is no scientific calculation that can determine the speed that God is about to unleash in your life. My God. It, it, that means it is happening at a rate of a supernatural amplification. It's faster than the airwaves. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Makoda baya sata kadia baha. Shende kila baha sata kadia ha. Supernatural speed. Father, give me supernatural speed this morning. Come on, talk to me. Give me supernatural speed this morning. Supernatural speed or, or that acceleration is a type of speed that happens at, 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 at you know, it's like one step. It, it will be like you have taken a thousand steps. Your actions are amplified. You take one step, you get the results of a thousand steps. Give me supernatural speed. Hallelujah. Give me supernatural speed. The Bible says Elijah was transported by the spirit of the Lord. Do you understand that there's no flight, there's no aircraft that can fly. Even the fighter jets cannot fly you fast enough than the spirit of the Lord. So this morning, you raise a prayer point. You raise your declaration and say, God, I receive the speed at the spirit of the Lord. The Holy Ghost Spirit is the one that is lifting me up, that is thrusting me out at the high voltage of the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Elijah prophesied to, ha to Ahab that there was not going to be a rain. Ahab denied it. He said, it's not going to happen. It won't happen. Not in a million years. And Elijah had to prove to Ahab that you're not just talking to a mere man. When I speak, the Lord hears and the Lord executes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, he answered him. He says, go tell your master, Elijah is here. And he said, what sin have I committed that you would hand over your servant to Ahab? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was talking to his servant. He says, go and tell Ahab that I'm here. And the servant didn't want to go. He says, why do you want him to kill me? Why do you send me to that man? Hallelujah. And he said, go and tell him as the Lord of God lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my master has not sent messengers to seek you. And when they said he's not here, Ahab made a kingdom or nation swear that they had not found you. And now you are saying, I must go tell the same guy that you are here. And as soon as I leave you, the spirit of the Lord will carry you to a place I don't know. And then they will think that I lied. And so when I came to tell Ahab and he does not find you, he will kill me instead. He said, yet your servant has reverently feared the Lord from my mouth. Hallelujah. So if God can carry a person like that, he can carry your destiny the same way. He can carry your career the same way. He can carry every department of your life the same way. The spirit of the Lord can catapult you from dangers of Ahab or anybody else. My God. Somebody say, I receive supernatural speed this morning. God does not need a door to enter. Some of you have been knocking on doors. If that door does not want to open, go through the wall. He does not need a door to enter. Oh, talk to me, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pardon for a second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus gets to the, to the disciples on the boat in John chapter 6, verse 16 to 21, he says, when evening came, his disciples went down to the sea 
and they got into the boat and started to cross the sea to Capernaum. It was already dark and Jesus had still not come back to them. The sea was getting rough and rising high because a strong wind was blowing. Then when they had rowed at three or four miles and were they near the center of the sea, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and approaching the boat and they were terribly frightened. But Jesus said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Then they were willing to take him on, the, on board the boat and immediately the boat reached the shore to the land to where, where they are going. Hallelujah. Jesus is here this morning and he wants to get into your boat. And when he gets into your boat, the boat there is no sinking. Hallelujah. You are having the equal power to walk on the water just like him. Hallelujah. Their, pos their position and their destination was instantly united. They were able to, so they were able to, 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 to brave the storm. So I'm here to encourage you this morning to tell you that the, no matter the storm, no matter how windy it is, no matter how dark it looks, all you need is to have Jesus in your boat. And you know that your boat is not going to sink. As long as you got Jesus in there. You call him in. If you didn't call him in before, you call him in and say, Jesus, you need to be in my boat. Because I don't know how to deal with all these notices. I don't know how to deal with all these eviction notices. I don't know with, to, how to deal with these people who are threatening to take everything I have. And the example that, that scripture also gives us is about Philip. And the Ethiopian eunuch, he says, when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord, again, the spirit of the Lord, do you see it? I'm in Acts chapter 8, verses 39. He says, the spirit of the Lord, suddenly, suddenly, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip and carried him away to a different place. Oh, Jesus. Do you understand that there are people who get into car accidents? And when they call on the spirit of the Lord, they don't understand why everybody died. And they say it was a fatal crash, but there was somebody that the fatality did not touch. You are, um, you are removed from fatality. Whatever danger you will find yourself in. I had a testimony of a girl the other day who says, I don't know how I escaped being raped. Pastor, there was something that I, I was in the car. They were talking of raping me. So I don't know what, what, what happened to them in that moment. All I remember was calling on Jesus, Jesus. And the spirit of the Lord will blind the robbers. And the spirit of the, they will run away. God, oh my kariya, my sota kariya hashata. The spirit of the Lord will appear suddenly. Hallelujah. It took Philip suddenly and carried him away to a different place. And the eunuch no longer saw him, but he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azotus. And as he passed through, the, he preached the good news of salvation to all cities until he came. There are things that you have gone through in life and you don't know how you escaped them. You don't know how you are still standing. You don't know why you are still standing. You don't know that you are, how you are still having a covering over your head. There are people who miss two installments of payments and the bank repossesses their house. You have not paid your installments for more than a year. Your bond, your mortgage has been outstanding for more than a year, but yet you are still in that house. Do you understand that it is by the spirit of the Lord? Every time they would be looking for people to evict, your file just goes missing. The spirit of the Lord. Father, I may have sabotaged and, and been guilty myself, and now I find myself in a court of law, and they are saying they are going to arrest me. They are going to throw, the, throw the, or away the key and put me in jail. But the Spirit of the Lord, my God, he continues to do wonders. You thought you don't have money. You thought you don't have food, yet you, you are here. You are still living. Hallelujah. I love what the apostle says. The apostle says, I... He understood that he had more speed than the other apostles. He says, for me, Paul, 1 Corinthians 15, he says, I am the least. I am the least. He says, if you look at me by all standards, I'm the least worthy of all the apostles because the other apostles had the benefit of walking with Jesus in the flesh. They saw him when he became flesh. They had the ability or the mentorship of Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. They had the mentorship of, of Jesus. But I wasn't there, but yet I'm the one who carries the more revelation. I'm the one who wrote more books in the New Testament. I, by the Spirit of the Lord, all these things were revealed to me. I was the fierce one, hallelujah. I, 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 I oppressed and I violently oppressed Christians. I persecuted the church. 
But by the remarkable grace of God, I'm the one that was chosen. I used to kill people, but yet I'm the one. Some of you, you have been scared to step out in your calling and you've been saying, Pastor Fortune, how can I step out? I used to be a prostitute. I used to do so many horrible things. I used to commit adultery. I used to take people's husbands. I used to do, oh, whatever it is. I used to rape people. I don't condone sin, but what I'm saying is that God can use anybody. He used Paul. He can give you that second chance. Hallelujah. I work harder. He says, I worked harder than other apostles. That is because sometimes familiarity can make you lose your mark. Familiarity can make you lose the power to get supernatural speed. Familiarity can make the anointing of non-effect in you. That is why sometimes people who are too close to their pastors sometimes forget themselves and then you don't recognize the oil that is supposed to work for you. Some of you who are, who are, um, even pastor's wives or, or, or you know, or, or if, if it's the other way around, if, it's, if it is the wife that is the pastor and you're not, you don't recognize the oil. You need to understand when there is a switch that this person is no longer in the flesh, but he's operating in the spiritual. Some of you, you need to understand you might be the firstborn, but you're not carrying the scepter of the spiritual covering in that family. You need to understand when there's a switch that there might be that sibling he might be the middle child or the last born, but he's actually the one who's carrying that scepter. He's the one who's carrying the spiritual authority. And if you are to take your birthright back, you better make sure that you match up and you push in the spirit realm. Talk to me, somebody. That's a preaching for another day. So Paul says, I've worked harder than all of them. Hallelujah. I'm a late comer, but yet I made sure I applied myself. I made sure that I do more. Hallelujah. So there is profitability in getting supernatural speed. When you get supernatural speed, you get, uh, uh, you, you escape stagnation. You escape frustration. Hallelujah. Now it happened while Jesus, while standing at, at the lake of Gennesaret in the Galilee. Hallelujah. People were crowding him. And they were listening to the word of God. And he saw, he saw two boats lying at the edge of the lake. But the fishermen had gotten out of them and they were washing their nets because they did not catch any fish the whole night. They said, we have told all night and we did not catch anything. And Jesus approached them. He says, no, 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 go back into the sea again. Let's go. Take your nets, bring your nets back again. The challenge is that you did not have me with you then. You did not call me into this strategy meeting. You did not call me into your business plan. But if you bring me in into your business plan, now it's time to go back into the sea. He said, cast your nets down again. And they put their nets again in the sea. He says, now they caught even more fish than they even anticipated to the extent that the, the Bible says that their nets began to break. They had more than enough. Their nets were breaking now. And that is the God who says, when I give you supernatural speed, I give you net breaking blessings. You are going to break away every net. There won't be room and enough capacity to what you have. You will have more than enough for yourself, your family, and everybody around you. You will become a blessing to other people. The whole point of the blessing child of God is that when you are blessed, you are able to bless others. It is a, it is a fallacy to think that you are going to have enough blessing for yourself. There is no fun in blessing yourself only. You have to bless others. So until you reach a dimension where you have so much that you can bless other people, you have not arrived yet. You need to push more even. Don't tell me that you just want a job so that you and your family are, are, are looked after. T start talking to me about expanding the kingdom of God. Tell me about looking after the widows. Tell me about looking after the poor. Talk to me. Tell me about taking the children in your neighborhood that need to go to school. Tell me about changing the, 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 the future of those who are in third, de third, third developing countries. Tell me that you are, don't tell me you're running an organization and you're doing a legacy so that your name can be remembered in your, in, in your community and you just mentored five, three people. No, expand yourself. We don't have to wait for, 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 for the first world countries to come and save us. Thank you, Queen. Queen. We don't have to wait for them to come and help us. My God, I'm going to say this, and I hope this resonates with you as Christians. My God. Sometimes Muslims do more for even Christians. And I ask myself, I say, where is the body of Christ when these things are happening like this? Why is it that we have to be in a state that we are unable to look after our own? 
Why do we have to wait for Asia to come into Africa? And they make us feel like we are underdogs, yet we are sitting on minerals. We are sitting on so much. We, 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 we are tiptoeing. We, we think that we are poor. We are not. We, they may call us a third world country. If we are a third world country, why do they come to exploit the, 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 the minerals that are here? My God, Africa, wake. Wake up, Africa. Wake up. Wherever you are, wherever you are located, my God. You need to understand you are a blessing when you are blessed when you start being a blessing. Expand yourself. We can't even buy rice. If a flood comes, and I, I, I bless God. I bless God and I bless Muslims. My best friends, some of my best friends are Muslims. And, 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 and at times when I've fallen short and, and I don't have things, they don't even wait for me to ask. And not that they've seen, because I don't advertise. I will not say, oh, I don't have this. No. Why is it that they, so what I'm trying to teach you is that there are principles that work. Because the principles of giving, they unlock a certain dimension. And then we ask ourselves as Christians, why are those people more blessed? They are living out the principles that God gave you, but you, you, we just, the ones who are not applying them. Just in South Africa alone. Who started Gift of the Givers? Let's talk. Talk to me. Anytime there's a crisis, I don't know about other countries, but in South Africa, I don't see churches running up to the, being the first on the ground. People need blankets. It's winter. People need food. My God, I need you to pray along with me and say, God, give me supernatural speed. I need to be relevant in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can all do it if we all start clubbing in. Stop and stop this fragmentation. Fragmentation where you want to do your own thing, you want to do your own thing. There is no power in doing small, small, small things. We need to put our kids through school. You have more than enough. You, you can at least buy somebody school uniform. You can at least do something. I need you to poke your neighbor and say, do something. You might not have the money to take your child to Kuro or, or, or one private institution, but you have at least an extra one to make sure that there is a child that is not walking barefooted to school. My God, you don't understand. When I traveled to the Eastern Cape, it opened up my eyes. The school might be 10 kilometers away, and yet there are children who are trekking to that school. They are determined to get out of that situation. They are determined that, yes, I'm from a village, but I'm going to make sure that I put my family on the map. People will know that there is a town in, in, in Eastern Cape where I came from. Do something. God, give me supernatural speed so that I'm relevant. Do something. My God. Yes, we have our own personal prayer request, but you can do something. Instead of buying a burger, instead of buying two quarters, when last did you buy a bag of rice for that family you know in your street they don't have food? What will it take from you? My God, let me continue. So let us, as I was saying, we need to come out of stagnation. We need to escape frustration. Help somebody to escape frustration. Help somebody to escape stagnation. My God. When you have supernatural speed, you begin to understand that you are now in a dimension when you recover the lost and wasted years. God gives you speed. God gives you wisdom. The same way, like David, shall I pursue, shall I overtake, I will recover all. Overtake. There is room for overtaking in the kingdom of God. That is why some people, when you look and you say, oh, but God gave me that idea in 2013 and you see somebody else manifesting it. You know why? Because God is not going to wait for you. He will raise up stones to go and effectually do his assignment. If you don't want to go do it, somebody else is going to do it. And you say, but God revealed it to me first. I clap hands for you. Did you register the trademark for it? No. So whether you, you why did you sit on it? Now it's 2021. Your dream has not manifested and you saw somebody else manifesting it. Because you did not move on time. This thing is about speed, ladies and gentlemen.
So if you wanted to be the novelty, if you wanted the patent on it, you should have registered the patent on it. But you didn't register the patent. That is why sometimes it seems like we are all preaching the same thing. And somebody says, oh, but I, uh, I had that revelation before. No. If you're not going to use it and if you, if you don't have, if you're not going to stretch yourself to have the platform where you are speaking to more people, pastor, don't blame us. Don't blame us. Don't call us names when we are on social media and say we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are uh, TV evangelists. You come and, and you say we are PayPal, PayPal preachers. We are TikTok preachers. Call us whatever you want. But he said, go to the four corners of the earth and, and, and make disciples of all men. They laughed at us. There are people who used to laugh at me when I was busy and I was obsessed with media and I would purchase things. When COVID hit, I was not caught unawares. I was not the one running Helter Skelter because people didn't know how are we going to reach our congregations? Oh, no, no, no. Because they said the internet was demonic. They said the internet was the, where they, now they were the ones, please come and teach us this thing. I'm, I'm stretching us. Men of God, women of God, I'm not saying those of you who are here, do not stop. Preach the gospel in season, out of season, instantly. Stretch yourself, invest. Even if your congregation doesn't want to give, even if they don't want to give, ask God and say, God, send me helpers. If you need to go have a business, go and do it. Isn't it that's, how, that's what the congregation is, is saying? It's saying that we must go get jobs. We must not only preach. So the congregation must understand that if your pastor does not answer your phone, he's busy trying to go get equipment so that he can spread the gospel. People are attracted to things that are moving. People are attracted to things. They will be attracted to some things that are progressive. Yet some people go to a jazz concert, you want to hear clarity of music, clarity of sound. And then when it comes to the things of God, you don't want to invest in the things of God. My God, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. The church of God needs to hear this. We have not even started and we are waiting. We are waiting for Jesus to come back. No, he's coming for a church without blemish, without spots. He's coming for a church that is evangelizing. He's coming for a church that is soul winning. He will give you the supernatural speed that you need. God, help me to be a helper. Your pastor should not struggle. Call a meeting. Five hours to discuss raising 500 rand. 5,000 rands. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Some of you know you are supposed to be kingdom financiers. But you are dilly darling. You are doing like this. You want your pastor 24-7. I told them in church on Sunday. Pastors are irrelevant up until a point you are dying. And they want you to come and say, we must say goodbye when the box is going down. You need a pastor then. When it's a wedding, they, they call you. Uh, pastor, after five minutes, they've forgotten. They don't want Jesus. They want the bottle. They want the parting. They want everything. They just wanted to see the pastor because they said the pastor must come and bless the union. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. So you will recover wasted and lost years. Supernatural speed. Somebody come on. Talk to me in that comment section. I receive. I receive supernatural speed. Father, give me supernatural speed so that I can be a blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Speed is necessary for the recovery of all the things that the devil stole from you. Hallelujah. Not so that you can just enjoy them by yourself and your family, but you will also be a blessing to others in Jesus' mighty name. Speed is required so that you can escape any enemy's orchestration. Whether, whatever he wants to tie you down, if, if he wants to tie you down by witchcraft or whatever, you need supernatural speed to escape those wizards and, witch, and witches. You need supernatural speed to escape uh, the principalities that are fighting you. The demonic oppression that is fighting you. Talk to me. Brothers and sisters, I do not count myself to have apprehended, yet I do the, this one thing I know. I forget those things that are behind. I reach forward to what lies ahead. You need to escape the things that happened in the past. Some of you need to stop being glued to what you achieved in the past because you think that the certificates, the certificates are nothing without God breathing his breath on those certificates. The certificates are nothing without you uh, having God to propel you forward. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless those who are gifting. May God increase you.
Hallelujah. I press on towards the goal to win the heavenly prize of the high, high calling, the upward calling towards Christ. Hallelujah. So this means that in the realm of the spirit, you are so fast and whatever is trying to catch you cannot tie you down. It cannot catch up with you. Hallelujah, somebody. When you have supernatural speed, then you, you become a, a, pet, a person who, who makes generational impact. I want you to confess it with me and say, God, make me have impact. I have generational impact. You stated, God bless you, Jennifer. I have generational impact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul had no confusion about his state. He says, I'm here to make a mark. I'm not an apostrophe. I'm not a full stop. I'm not a comma. I am a, gen I'm a, gen I'm a generational impact maker. I make generational impact. I'm not here to be an apostrophe. I'm not a semicolon. I'm continuous. Hallelujah. Men and women should read about you. We should see your biography. Talk to me. Talk to me. Impact can never be made in sluggishness. You have no, you don't have the luxury to be sluggish. You don't have the luxury to be lazy. Born again Christians of God, you have no luxury to be sluggish. You have no luxury to be lazy. Father, give me speed. Impact will make you have speed. Father, I receive the, 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 the generational impact or supernatural speed so that I can have, make an impact. I cannot be crawling in life. I am going to run. I'm going to fly. When I have supernatural speed, I have fulfillment of destiny and I fulfill my destiny on schedule. I don't miss my milestones. My project plan is clear. I'm going to fulfill my life purpose in my lifetime. I will not go to the grave until I have fulfilled my purpose. I'm not dying without put with my potentials that people would not have benefited from what I have and I'm carrying inside of me. Stop being scared. Step out. Step out and stop being scared. Do you know that some of us, we nearly delayed who we were going to be because we were worried about appearances. I stopped worrying about appearances. I stopped worrying about whether my makeup is intact. Even in church, they will tell you, I may look cute and walk in with my high heels. If my high heels are going to be the sin that so easily besets me, I take it off so that I can preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't wait for them to give you compliments and say you are looking beautiful. No, no, no. We don't live by the compliments of men. Hallelujah. I used to be very self-conscious. And, and that's why I, I, I even coach other young ladies to say, have the self-confidence. If you are a plus size, you are a plus size. Work your plus size. Hallelujah, somebody. I didn't want to be online. I don't know. I knew I was carrying something, but I didn't want to be online. Because I was self-conscious. But as, the, as when God came in, when the Spirit of the Lord took me, boom. Plus size is now the new thing. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. So what are the keys that we need to unlock very quickly? Let me close very quickly. Decision against stagnation. You have to decide against stagnation. Hallelujah. The prodigal son, when he came to his senses, he said, wait a minute. I'm stuck here. This is Luke chapter 15. You can go read it in your own spare time. He says, my father is rich. He gave me his, my inheritance. I went out and squandered it with women and I did all those things. Now everything is finished. Now I'm living in the streets. Now it's like I don't have anything. But people who are servants in my father's house are living even better than me. He said, I came to my senses. I decided no more stagnation, no more being stuck. I would rather go back home. Some of you, you need to get out of your high horse, get off from your high horse and your pride, and you go say sorry to your parents. I messed up. I thought I was ready to move out. But I took on more than I could chew. Some of you need to get off the pride situation where you understand that I should not have bought a Mercedes Benz. I should have bought a Suzuki. I should have bought a Toyota Corolla. I should have bought a Reno uh, Quid. But because I thought I was too much and a bag of chips and all that, I went and put myself in high debt. You need to downgrade if you need to downgrade so that you can launch out properly. If you launched out too early, my God, I'm saying something. I'm talking to you who, who always are in a cycle of debt, repeated debt. You're going to have to close the tap and say, I'm no longer going to be uh, 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 creating debt on top of debt. 
I no longer, I understand, Pastor Fortune, I don't have to buy coffee from Starbucks anymore. I can make my own coffee from home. I need to understand that I may not have to buy steaks on my grocery list. I may have to buy a, a, a gizzard, chicken gizzard. I may have to eat chicken feet. I may have to do with rice and soup alone. It's only for a season so that I can get out of this mess that I got myself into. I may have to have uh, bones or something like that. I will get back to that. I don't have to compare with the Joneses. I may have to avoid Woolworths for some time and go to Checkers or ShopRite. Talk to me, somebody. My God. If you need to downgrade, stop being apologetic. You decide. When you decide, I will, I will no longer be stagnant. You are saying, no more debt. I'm out of this thing. I'm going to take this car back and tell them I cannot afford to pay for it. Take it. I need something cheaper. I'm going to go back and apologize to my parents and say, I know I spoke too highly of myself and I spoke badly. I'm so sorry. I need to recuperate. I need to, I need to live. I, I need to cut my cloth according to my size. Hallelujah, somebody. Let me finish quickly. Oh my God. Time is fast spent. When you, the, the key, the other key is that you need to connect to God. That is where your acceleration comes. When you are connected to God, when, you, when he says in Isaiah, he says, those that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. He's the one that's going to renew their, your strength. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that you are the way, you are the truth in our lives. Your purpose in our life is going to take its rightful place. Every single person who's at the sound of my voice, Father God, who's standing in agreement, who shows up every single morning like this, oh my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we are open-minded, we are open-hearted, we are open-spirited that you say, Lord, come and take your rightful place in our hearts, take your rightful place in our minds that we make the right decisions. Hallelujah. Take your rightful place so that we can have the speed to increase. Father, everything that we need to know, thank you, Lord, that you have made it and revealed it to us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are moving into the realm that you want us to be in, the realm of supernatural speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, as we step out this morning, Father, we step out in divine grace. Lord, that you will set us out to, to move with divine speed. We are going to achieve great success in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, as you move with this divine speed, God is releasing progress in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine speed, receive divine speed in Jesus' mighty name. You are receiving dynamic speed for acceleration. Where others are struggling to achieve, you will achieve. I decree that you will achieve and not only achieve, but you will achieve with ease and convenience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where what others are suffering to achieve, you will achieve without any problem. The anointing for divine speed will speak for you today. The anointing of divine speed will surround your house and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will accelerate your success. The Lord will accelerate your progress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will experience speed and you will experience dynamic success in every field of your endeavor in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the door of greatness is open to you. The door of greatness is open to your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord accelerate your victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have victory over every hardship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Matthews. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are quickly, you're quickly ending up any hardship, any despair in your life. It is ending now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every single person, every ache, every pain from your descendants in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it will be swiftly dispelled in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Mom Sophie. God bless you on, on Juju. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every ache, every pain that has been troubling your wellness and health. I command it to be crushed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever thing that has been plaguing your body and saying that you shall not be well, right now I speak to that illness and that diseases. I crush it by fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are receiving the speed of your healing today. Your deliverance, you are receiving it speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to speed up your deliverance from any type of misfortune that you have, uh, have received in your life. I decree and I declare that the speed of your deliverance against demonic dreams, you are receiving it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
God bless you, Caroline and Sepiso. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are receiving the speed for, for every relationship. My God, whatever demonic manipulation may have been coming through any associations and re relationships that we are in, right now, Father, we are crushing it. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, rapid crushing against any evil association, evil manipulation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, my God, almighty God, Raise your generation on this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your generation to success. Raise your generation to help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall give you grace. The Lord shall increase you. The Lord shall give you joy in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is releasing your happiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The door of dynamic financial growth is being opened for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The law of financial growth, the doors of financial growth are being opened right now to your family members in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall rise up and he will destroy all that your enemies have planned. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive the supernatural power of God that will extend the grace and goodness of the Almighty on you and your descendants and will give you the supernatural speed that you need right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you have released and enhanced our rising, O oh God. You have enhanced our growth, O oh God, with supernatural speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the saints of God shouted a resounding amen. It is not by, by your own wisdom. It is not by your own calculation, but it is by the divine wisdom of God. It is by the calculations of heaven that no, science, no sci sci scientist can calculate. My God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, bring me to a mountain of divine speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is Lord and he's Lord of all. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody re receive supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Thank you for everybody, Lord, that has woken up this morning. Father God. Lord, thank you for giving them wings to fly. Thank you, Lord, that they have received the speed for progress in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for everybody who's giving a follow. Please make sure you are following the platform that you are watching me from and switch on um, that um, notification bell. My God. Moderators, I need um, visuals on, on YouTube, please. Makora ba shoto kodi ya masata kadi ya bahasa taka. Leke si kada ba shoto kodi ya masata. Receive supernatural speed. You are being mounted on wings of an eagle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makara ba sata kadi ya basata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you carry us on eagles' wings. Carry us, O God, on eagles' wings in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Father, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are on YouTube and who are on Facebook, I'm asking you to just jump on to my Fortune L online. I am closing now, but please jump on. I'm aware that the feed on uh, YouTube and Facebook might have cut. If you are still hearing my voice, please just jump on to TikTok. Hallelujah. It's the power. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Abiela. I'm just greeting everybody right now. Father, thank you for everybody that has logged in this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I release them. They are moving out with supernatural speed. Father, thank you for empowerment, oh God. Father, thank you, Lord, that they will be renowned. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Anybody that has found themselves in any pit, Father God, Lord, you are dragging them out of that pit. You are pulling them out right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
the Lord is going to make your feet like hinds feet. The Lord is going to give you a spring in your step in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to see it. He's going to give you a spring in your step. In four minutes, I'm going to shut down the broadcast. I'm giving you a chance. Please make sure you are following the broadcast that you're on and you turn on your notification bell and you also make sure that you're following me on YouTube. If you want to watch the replay of this broadcast, you can go there as well. Hallelujah. Those of you who are going to work, I, I, I do excuse you. I know that um, some of you in South Africa, it is morning and you will start traveling soon. So you are released in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ, I will not feel bad if you jump off the broadcast. Those of you who are still here, I will still be here to greet you and, and um, stand in agreement with you with anything that you want me to pray for this morning. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for Rispa. I declare and I decree that victory is yours in Jesus' mighty name. Mpumi, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, we're back. Shame. Facebook and, 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 and YouTube. I can't tell that shame self. <laughs> Let me repent of my own teaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. At least you were still hearing me, right? Yeah. Amen. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we have waited on you, Lord. We have waited on you, Lord. We are receiving your strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody who is on Mara Official, please make sure you also find Fortune L online. Fortune L online. Okay, I can't do that on that phone. Let me make sure that I, I'm going to send you my handle on, on that um, channel right now. Fortune L online. Hey Donna, God bless you. God bless you. Guys, please let me know where you are tuning in from. Let me greet you again as I close. Facebook and um, YouTube, let me just greet you quickly before I stop the stream that side. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bless Mam Nonsigelelo. I bless you, Vimbai, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, Vimbai. I bless you, Tobias. I command healing to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, Noashe Constance, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Karabashata Kadiaba. I speak health to you, Tobias, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see the devil has been trying to fight that crusade. He will not win in Jesus' mighty name. Uchenna Collins, um, Zodwa Magwaza on YouTube. God bless you. Donna Michelle, God bless you. Uchena Collins, God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, guys. Those of you who don't know my YouTube handle, it's Fortunel Online. There's more videos that you can also watch there. Amen. Father, thank you. The spirit of stagnation is removed from uh, Monica in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mpote Nkwane, you are lifted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. I've pinned uh, my handle on uh, that broadcast, Fortune L Online. Those of you who are on Fortune L Online on this broadcast, please make sure that you go to my profile. You will see the link for the Fortune L Online YouTube. Make sure you give me a follow there. If you want to send me a message, you are welcome to send it on IG as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for strength for my Mela's baby uh, in the ICU. Father, we thank you, Lord, that she is getting more strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She's strengthened and she's going to be whole and she's going to be taken home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uganda, God bless you. God bless you, Ovi. God bless you, Susan. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to everybody that has tuned in today. If you don't have any uh, requests or anything or any testimonials, um, I believe you will inbox if you want to. If you want to, New Jersey, USA, awesome. Janelle, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Simba, Sierra Leone, God bless you. Simba, God bless you. You are blessed, Simba. May the Lord meet you at the point of your need. No more delay in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maryland, U USA. Sydney, Australia. Oh my God. Look at all these satellites being represented. Kenya, you are blessed. Ethiopia, you are blessed. Suriname, in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. No more delay. No more delay. 
No more delay in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabasho Tokodi Abahasata. Find me on TikTok, those of you on Amara Official, okay? I'm on every single day, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. You can synchronize. Father, in that immigration case for Janil right now, I pray, Father God, for favor. Father God, let there be favor. Father God, let that immigration case be resolved positively in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you to everybody who has been gifting. May the Lord grant you favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord grant you favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you know no lack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There we go. I've pinned it again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Guys, do let me know of any testimonies, praise reports. You're welcome to post it on the pinned videos that I always have at the top. Hallelujah. I will release another video by the grace of God today and I will put it up and some of the, and I'm, I'm working on a few things that will be awesome, that will be edifying any time of the day for you. Remember on Wednesdays, we've got our talk session at 7 p.m. South African Standard Time. So on Wednesdays, we've got three sessions. You get to see me three times in the morning morning at 5 a.m. and at 7 p.m. and then at night you have your sessions with Apostle Mara where he's teaching you how to pray and he's teaching you certain practical things especially if you are new in the things of God or sometimes you know not even when you are new in the things of God the revelations are so deep there to equip you to be able to do what you need to do as a Christian and how you need to grow. And then on Fridays at midnight, South African Standard Time, we've got our three-hour prayer, okay? We push on. And if the Holy Spirit stretches us, we push on. But every single day of the week at 5 a.m., God bless you, everybody who has followed on um, Mara Official, okay? I'm going to pin it again. Please make sure you are finding me on TikTok on that handle, Fortune L Online. And you find me on any of the... Um, social media channels i find that ig works better when you send messages on instagram so i will be able to locate you on instagram easily and quicker follow me and i'll follow you back immediately after this broadcast i will actually follow you immediately that's when i check my ig um and yes i am gonna catch up because somebody finally showed me where to find the messages that i requested if i've not followed you back on um tiktok so and i will try and answer as many as many questions as possible uh, during the Wednesday session if they align with the topic that we will be talking about. So when you come on the Wednesday session, if we are not do if we're doing it on Zoom and you want if you've got something private, you can inbox it and then I will address it uh, during that time. The IG handle is the one that is pinned right now. UN, the one that is pinned there. Fortune L online. You see that one? That is that is my IG handle. I, I laughed so much when I opened. Um, my husband said, you need to answer the messages on TikTok. I said, where do you find them? So he showed it to me. And then the first one, it was so funny. Um, it's a pity I can't open it because the, the thing is open here. And it said, are you married, please? The Lord is directing me to you. And I'm like, when I preach, you know, my ring is so clearly visible. But the person said that the Lord has directed them to me. And that's so funny. So sometimes when I open this inbox, I read the praise reports and I see the testimony is amazing. Somebody even got a promotion lately. Um, you know, on Sunday, they were sending messages. So I, I, I really get overjoyed when I see how what God is doing, that these meetings are making a difference. But um, I laughed so much at the person who was saying, Rispa, I'm telling you, he says the Lord has, has directed them to me. <laughs> so I don't know. Lord, if, if the Lord directs you to me, I don't know how, how we're going to deal with it. You can't find it on Instagram and Facebook. Impossible, my angel. Fortune L Online. If you click on, on my profile, you are here, right? T T T Temskin. You click Pastor Fortune there, my picture. Then the drop down menu opens there at the bottom. And I'm going to do it. So if you click there at the corner, at the bottom here, it opens. Then you click that picture. Then you'll be out of uh, the broadcast just before you do that, right? And then here on the profile, you click on the profile. It should be there. 
or even if you if you click on my on, on my picture it opens underneath my name that says pastor fortune it's written fortune l online that's exactly what you type in and then when you want to view today's broadcast you go to the live tab not the videos tab the live tab so once i've edited what happened in the live it goes on to the to this other side monica says the lord should redirect them to somebody else honestly oh my goodness hallelujah thank you Vigimelo, for following me thank you rachel god bless you so guys if you want to double make sure and you want to grow your instagram accounts i'm there I, there's no limit as you know on instagram right so i'm gonna follow you immediately it's a task that i do immediately and i look at the messages as quick as possible and i answer a few messages um some of them i try and answer them on the broadcast like this so some of the people that um having specific issues if i notice that you are going through the same thing or i'm having three or four dream interpretations that are of, of, of the similar nature i try and address them on the platform like this petsy god bless you stacy god bless you thank you so much so please sometimes if you see me not typing back right it's because i am planning or i have already answered the question in one of the videos so uh, maybe that is the way to do it you know um if you have left a comment um on the videos on, on the comments videos or in the inbox that i answer it through a video so that everybody else can benefit because sometimes i see that it's the same things that people struggle with but um because of time and you know i'm only one i i can't speak to every single person the whole time because when i do the one-on-one -on -one consultations there's a delay maybe it's the network sorry about that yuan but on my side it seems to stream well so um please try as much as possible especially the friday night midnight uh get ready get enough rest during the day fast and rest and when you come at midnight we address so many things and then only on saturday mornings will i bring you guys on in the box so it's wednesdays and saturdays i'll bring you in the box i want to hear the testimonies i want to hear uh if there's anything specific you you need counseling in and it's very quick so that we give everybody a chance um what do you want to consult on my darling it depends if i'm not an expert in that thing i will not consult on so you must tell me what do you want to consult on is it a spiritual issue or a business issue so guys the officially we have closed the meeting you can jump off if you want to do that um julia um this morning okay inbox me as well okay may you obtain favor in jesus mighty name come back with good news and don't forget who you are and don't forget to cover him with the blood of jesus okay don't forget who you are with boldness with boldness god will god god will intervene hallelujah good morning sorry that person that asked the question about what i consult on you will need to be more specific so that i can tell you if i'm able to Okay. I see it, Matsidiso. Matsidis. Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you. There is a barcode on one of my videos. That barcode is our WhatsApp group. So you can join on that WhatsApp group. You just take a screenshot. You take another phone uh, where your WhatsApp is, obviously, and you scan it, and then you'll be in the WhatsApp group. You get notifications. I will open it briefly just to um get your comments praise reports and what it is that you want me to address so you're welcome to suggest topics you want us to talk about on wednesdays but um in the past two weeks i think we did uh, focus on the family we were praying for husbands and the other day um oh now i forget the first one we were talking about finances so the practical side of things so that person who was asking about the consultation question um you can um tell me what it is that you want to consult on so there is a plan to bring other experts who can come and help as well amen blessed day everyone god bless you i'm gonna sign out i don't think anybody has got um okay 
Father, we pray for Mpumi's mom in that high care award in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, we thank you for healing her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for strengthening her in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask, Lord, that you do a speedy recovery for her to be discharged from that ward. Father, do what no one can do but only you, Master Jesus. Father, we send that balm of Gilead to um, heal her in Jesus mighty name. Father, I speak to the voices that are in my gates, my, my gates, my gate. Can you put your ears, your hands like this, like your fingers and, and plug them. Just close them for me, please. Close them for me in the name of Jesus. Just plug them in and close them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to Margaret's ears right now. You evil voices, I command you to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those evil voices to stop. I command you to come out from her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray right now for Mr. Kaba. Father, thank you for restoration of sight in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you for restoration of sight in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, beauty, what exactly do you want to happen at work, my darling? I, is it a promotion you want? Specify it. In Jesus' mighty name. Margaret, talk to me. Come to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Testify. When you close your ears, there was like a vacuum, a, a wind of vacuum. Makura bashoto kodi abahasata. Guys, don't miss Friday. Don't miss any meeting. 5 a.m. You have to come and war in the spirit every single day. Come and war every spirit every single day. 5 a.m. 10 p.m. at night, 5 a.m. in the morning and show up for that prayer. I'm going to say this. You need to ensure that you fight. Don't just ask people to pray for you, but also fight. Amen, somebody. You must fight. This is your life. Your children's lives depend on it. Don't delegate it. Amen. God bless you, YouTube. I didn't realize you're still with us. Oh, amen. Okay, darlings. See you later.